calling Ministries. This is Christina. How may I help you? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me clearly now? I can hear you just fine, sir. This is Ministries. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, this is Ministries. My name is you... Christina. How can I help you? Are you this ch chap in Oklahoma? I'm sorry, sir. Are you calling for a church in Oklahoma? This is a church in Anderson, Indiana. Where is that? It's in the state of Indiana. Who? Hello, sir. Can you help me? Can you hear me okay? I live in Cumbria in the north of England. I simply well, picked yes, up sir. the telephone. I, I beg your pardon? I uh, know. I didn't know that you were calling from overseas. You reached the United States, sir. I simply picked um, up the telephone because my telephone rang. That's all right. Are you trying to reach ministries? Yes, exactly. All right, sir. Well, thank you for calling. How can I help you? This is the answering service for Church of Dreams. Can I have someone return your call? Yeah, you've called me. I just picked up the telephone again, yeah. Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> well, I... Did someone leave you a message? No, quite. It ha it's happened to me on several occasions. I haven't dialed you. Oh. I'm sitting here by the fire watching the television. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry that you were bothered by phone calls, sir. Um, this is Mystery United States in the state Where? of Indiana. Where is that? Um, well, it's in a... Let me see. Probably you would say it's in the heartland of the United States, uh, sort of in the middle. Oh, God. Uh, in the state... I can't believe this. It's... um. The state of Indiana, uh, it's by the state of Illinois, um, the state of Ohio. Yeah, you're an American, you... aren't you? I'm sorry, sir? I'm I sorry. mean, I've, I've, had calls, I've had calls from Oklahoma this afternoon. I mean, you're the, you're, I've, I've actually been on a... I, was, I picked up my telephone about three minutes ago, and I was mm -hmm. talking to a gentleman in, Oklahoma, in, um, in the States, in the United States. In fact, you you have just cut into a call, okay, between me and an, a, an, a, and a gentleman in America. Well, my goodness, when I uh, it, it it appeared that you or the call came in from you when I answered the phone, and then you were on the line, sir. It sounds like we're getting our wires crossed. Um, yes, exactly. Are you needing to are you needing to speak to this gentleman in Oklahoma? No. Okay, yeah, well, mine has too, okay. I have not called you. I have not made a call this afternoon at all, except to contact BT, British Telecom, to complain that I am getting calls from America this afternoon. I've ended up speaking to people in Alaska, um, the east coast of the United States, and a variety of other places, but, um, oh, God. <sighs> Oh, well, I'm so sorry that you're having difficulty. Sometimes, you know how these phones are. They are a bit screwy, aren't they? I know it's very uh, strange. It sounds, yes, I'm sorry that you're having so much difficulty, sir. The number that um, we're talking on belongs to a church, the Ministries, and it is I, indeed I in the United States of America in a state called Indiana. Where is that? Well, like I said... Um, Oh. Where are you, where kind of are you based? Of, kind of in the middle of the United States, almost. Is there anything else I can help you with, sir? It doesn't sound like you need to speak to anyone from the church, unless you want me to have someone call you back, but it sounds like perhaps our wires got crossed somehow. No, no, no. I, I'm not saying that you've called me. I'm just saying that you, you're, you have just come onto the line where I was actually yeah. talking to somebody else. Oh, God. <sighs> Well, okay, and that, that is indeed a peculiar situation because it sounded like you were calling me. <laughs> yes, exactly. So how about this? Uh, you've had a distressing evening with all these um, peculiar incidences. Uh, I can disconnect from you, sir, and perhaps you can get back with your original call. No, I'm not on drugs. Oh, no, 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 I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. I don't think you heard me. You are deeply no, I, offensive, I said... sir. I'm sorry? You are deeply offensive, sir.
Oh, I'm no, sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't no, say I, that you. No, no I'm not you, on drugs. I don't, I don't think you heard me. I don't think you heard what I said. I said I that. Um, I, I believe I that our lines got crossed. And by the way, I'm a lady. I'm not a sir. Okay. And if you like, we can disconnect from the call because it sounds like you are you're speaking to somebody else. And somehow our lines got crossed. Oh, God. So, yeah, I'll tell can you I what. Can I just explain um, to you? A telephone call this I, afternoon. Um, the latest um, one, this is the one that I'm talking, this is the one I'm speaking on now, okay? My telephone rang and I, was, I ended up speaking to somebody in America. Then, it turned as though it was a funeral director in this country that I was speaking to, okay? And then I could hear a call going out again and I, I ended up speaking to you. You're Can't you number. understand what I'm telling you? I do understand, and I'm so sorry. It sounds like a terrible situation. Our lines have gotten crossed, sir, and um, you, you might want to speak to British Telecom about this. I'm not quite sure how we ended up together, but this is the United States. Um, how about if we disconnect and perhaps you can call British Telecom and maybe they can straighten out the problem for you? I've been in touch with the British Telecom Service, and they seem not to be able to do anything about it at all. Well, I don't know what else to tell you, sir. I, I don't I, believe anyone in America can help you with that. It sounds I, like your, I, your line's in England. Can I, can, I, can I ask a favor, please? Of course. Would it be possible, I will give you my telephone number, okay, and I will ask you to give me your telephone number, Okay? Yes, sir. Um, Do you understand uh, what I'm saying to you? I understand, sir. I, hmm, how do I explain? Uh, let, me, let, me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you who I am. I am with, um, I'm sure in the UK they have answering services, don't they? No. Okay. Do you know when you call the doctor and the doctor's office is closed... Yeah. But there's an answering service that answers for the doctor when they're closed, right? Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, I will exactly. look for an answering service in the United States. I, now, I the church, church office hours are closed, but I answer their phone calls when their office hours are closed. I don't know if, I don't believe I can make an international call without my supervisor. Um, I, I don't believe I can make an international call. I'd love to help you for certain, but... What? I don't believe I can do that. Um, and it sounds like the problem that you're having might be a British telecom issue. Yeah, you're an American, um, aren't you? I am indeed. Where are you, where are you based? Well, uh, in the United States, of course. Where's that? In a state called Indiana. Where's that? It's like a, it's like a state like Oklahoma. Um, have you heard of Chicago, Illinois? No. Hmm. Well, that's all right. All you have to know that it's it's a it's a city in the United States. What? Yeah, I I really don't believe that um, I can help you, sir. I think you really need to speak to British Telecom about this issue. No, I'm not I'm on sorry. drugs. You are deeply I'm offensive, sorry. sir. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, um, but I have not called you, and I have not called the funeral director that 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 I was speaking to a few moments ago, nor the gentleman in, uh, in the States of America. Oh, well, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to offend you, but I didn't say anything offensive, and I am a lady, not a sir, like I said. Would you like I'm, to speak to my supervisor, perhaps? I'm sorry, what did you say? Would you like to speak to my supervisor, perhaps? Um, yes, exactly. All right, sir. Can I tell him your name, please? Yes. I am a very well-respected individual. I'm a retired chartered accountant. Can I have your name, please? I'm in Cumbria. I'm sorry, sir? I'm in Cumbria. All right. What is your name, sir? What? Can I have your name? I, I have no idea. All right. Well, sir, I'll tell you what. I don't believe that we're resolving anything. I'm going to disconnect from the phone call, and I suggest you call British Telecom. All right? It looks as though there's another call coming, cutting in. I can't believe this. All right, sir. I'm sorry that you've been interrupted, but it is not my fault. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Things happen. What? It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, well, me too. I've had several of these calls this afternoon. It's happened to me on several occasions. 
I am sitting here relaxing after a hard day's work. Yes, sir. I understand that. But I, you know, I'm, I'm living in the United States. I can't, I, I think you should really speak to British Telecom about this. It sounds like something is happening on your end. I've been in touch with no. the British Telecom service, and they seem not to be able to do anything about it at all. <sighs> it's just a mystery. Well, I, I understand, and I'm sorry, sir. I, there's nothing else I can do, but I can I, tell have, you, um, I, I mean, how I'm many gonna... more times do I need to tell you? Don't you understand English? I have not called you. I know, sir. You haven't called. I'm asking you if you'd like to speak to my supervisor, but there's nothing that we can even do. Yes. There's nothing we can do. You have to call your telephone company, sir. Sounds like there's something wrong. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, so, mine has too. To... Okay. I have not called you. I have not made a call this afternoon at all, except to contact BT, British Telecom, to complain that I'm getting calls from America this afternoon. You Can't you I don't understand what I'm telling you? I don't. I don't mean to be rude, and I, I really am not trying to be rude. I do have, uh, I'm working, and I have some other calls to answer, so I'm going to disconnect because I really can't help you, and I'm not trying to hang up on you, but I really can't do anything. So it was a pleasure speaking to you. I hope you what? get your problem fixed. Please call British Telecom, What? and I hope you have a good evening, all right? What? You are deeply offensive, sir. I better call him back and apologize.